It's another first. What's that? We're gonna do Harvest Host. We are on our way to the Tampa RV show, but on our way, we're gonna stop at a Harvest Host. Hey, I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are two, two crazy, crazy campers. campers. After losing a combined weight of more than 200 pounds, we realized we had so much more energy for activities. Come along with us as we explore the great outdoors. And join us on a brand new adventure. So we are on our way to the Florida RV show in Tampa and decided that we wanted to get there nice and early. So we were going to stay at a Harvest Host location and we found something that is perfect for Rachel. Yes, a coffee place. This is called Chris's Coffee and they've actually taken an old railroad building built in 1912 right here in Frostproof, Florida and converted it into a coffee house. Guess what? What? This is his first Harvest Hosting. He just signed up to be a Harvest Host like this past week. Really? We are some of his first hosters. Harvesters. <laughs> what do you think about the inside? It is the coolest place. I think that this is perfect for a harvest hosting situation because there's tons of different like cool rooms where you can listen to records, you can, you know, make your own coffee brews using all kinds of different machines. And this is something that blew me away. There are all kinds of um, historic photographs because he was a photographer and a musician himself but there's all kinds of photographs of the railroad that was here in florida pictures of like the the early 1900s but this is the weird thing my great grandfather was actually working on the railroad down through this area in that 1912 arena so there's a really good chance that there's a picture of my great grandfather in there hanging on the wall so it's kind of interesting that you know we signed up for harvest host and i'm always like looking at the different places that we could stay and you know going through them all i'm always like you know there's not much down in south florida there's a lot of stuff like over on the west coast like heading from south florida up to tampa like in arcadia area things like that there were a couple in the middle of the state but not much and it was weird that like this just like all of a sudden showing up because I've seen like the goat farm and there's a couple of wineries and there's a brewery and there's like a sugar cane farm, but I never saw this one. And then last night I was looking like, where are we going to stay on the way to the RV show? Well, and it's really great. He was actually saying that he was talking to some of like the city officials who noticed, you know, a, a camper around and was like, what are you doing? And he said, this is important for the city too because and he's right frostproof is one of those small towns that you're really just passing through to to get to a bigger city like jacksonville or tampa or right. orlando well the thing is is that this was like literally you get off on the turnpike at yeehaw junction and this is right on the road that goes from yeehaw junction straight through to tampa so you can cut literally, it's one of the only roads that you're gonna to use to cut from the East Coast to the West Coast, and it goes right through this town. And because we are here, we're gonna buy our groceries here, and we're gonna get our gas here, and if there's anything that we forgot to We're bring, getting our coffee here? We're definitely getting our coffee here, so we're gonna to help to you know provide some more money into the local you know pot, which I, I love that. Yeah, so then what we're gonna do, it's kind of late. We're gonna go just kind of relax and enjoy. I mean, he was super nice. He did say there's like some electric and stuff. They'll harvest hosts, like you're supposed to be self-contained. He's like, there is electric. If you need to plug something in, there's some Bluetooth, there's a water spigot if you need to kind of top off. So super nice. They open up at 6 a.m. We will definitely be getting some of our morning coffee here. Yes. As well as he said, he fresh roasts all of his coffee here. He said, and when you are drinking it, it's a week old. It's It was roasted a week ago. So we're gonna get a bunch of coffee to take with us in Eleanor and maybe even bring some home. And maybe some swag too, because he has some really cute shirts. Life is a winding road. No telling where it goes. Driving through days and nights. Won't stop for traffic lights. I will 
will keep on searching for my eyes You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high even if the sky is falling down. So you can grab a 45 and play it on the old timey record player. So here we are in the brouhaha room where you can use the beans that they roast fresh here to make your own coffee. But this isn't just like a Mr. Coffee coffee maker. You've got all of these different um, cold brew stations and I mean just really neat things to make your coffee. Get up and start from the ground. So this is the coolest one to me. This is an ice cold brew. So at the top you put ice and then you put in your grounds. And as the ice melts, it actually creates a pour over effect to make your iced coffee. So they sit it here in the window because it would get the most sun and get you your cold coffee the fastest. I am so glad that we decided to stay here because I think that even if you're not a coffee lover, you're gonna love this place. There is so much memorabilia inside. There's so much to do. So you can just come here and they have like live bands at night. They have things that you can look at. The owner of the place actually used to work for Disney World. And so there's all kinds of like Nickelodeon memorabilia in there. Yeah, Disney stuff, because you worked it for Universal Studios too. And what is really interesting is just all the little nooks and crannies of sitting spaces. So if you're a music lover, if you're an avid reader, if you enjoy just sitting alone and watching fish yeah. while, while you're drinking your coffee, there's something for everybody here. Yeah, it's really awesome. And I would say if you want to come here, support them. Maybe you're not a coffee drinker. They have some cool t-shirts. They have jewelry made out of coffee beans. I mean, what a conversation starter. Yeah, mugs. Uh, and then there's evidently a lot to do in this town. So much so that we found out that in the end of February, they have something called the Orange Blossom Festival. And then the week before, they're having like a street fair. And we're thinking about coming up for that because there's a giant railroad museum right down the street. Just lots to do in this little town. And this is perfect because it is a little bit more than halfway on your way to Disney World. It's an hour out of Tampa. It's like 45 minutes from Disney World. It's a perfect stop halfway through the state. And I think it's great that we get to be one of the first people that were here. I feel really blessed that we're one of the first people. And I have to say, it is so quiet. Yes. I We've stayed at campsites in state parks that weren't nearly as quiet as this place. No, it's, it's super nice. And the people who work here are great. Chris is great. I mean, he offered us to like fill up our tanks with water if we needed to. Sandy was awesome too. Sandy is awesome. I will say this. If you want to have somebody to have a conversation with, come hang out here, grab a cup of coffee, and you're going to learn all kinds of history of Florida. Which I love that. That's like one of my favorite things. So we highly recommend staying here at Chris's Coffee if you're part of Harvest Host. Now, if you're interested in Harvest Host, there's a link down below in the description. And if you use that link, it will help support our channel. And it will also give you 15% off of your annual membership, which I believe is like $79 before the discount. That gets you access to all of these different wineries, coffee houses, yeah. breweries. And for just 20 bucks more, you also have access to like over 360 golf courses. And only like 20% of the golf courses actually make you like play a round of golf. So you can just go there and have something to eat on a golf course. Can you imagine me playing golf? That would be kind of fun to say. Wow. Well, that's going to be our quick little review here of Chris's Coffee for Harvest Host. Now, if you like what you saw here, please do us a favor. Hit the like button on this video. It really helps our channel grow. And also, make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell button. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time, happy, happy camping. camping.